Hey guys and welcome to this video. So here again I was looking at cracking the coding interview book and one of the problems that they gave us was to write a method to decide if two strings are anagrams or not. So an anagram is basically two different words that have the same letters. So let's go ahead and get started here. Alright so first I'm going to write of course a description. So we want to or, or this program um, will decide if two strings are anagrams or not. Okay, and again, I'm going to give you the definition of an anagram. And an anagram is two different words that have the same letters maybe different orders all right so let me give you an example of that an example would be uh, the word dog we can also rewrite that as um, God with a uh, and let me just I'm gonna make it all capitals dog and and god dog and god perfect Okay, so now how does it work? Well, at least this is my thinking of what I'm going to do for this. Since uh, these are just two different words that uh, where the letters are in different orders, why don't I just order all of the letters? So now if I order um, dog, right? So something like sort dog, this would give me... Uh, D G O, right? And then if I sort God, this will give me D G O, oops, O as well. And then I can just check check if the two words sorted are equal to each other. So I could check if uh, sort dog is equal to sort of the word God and then of course um, if this is true then we could just print they are anagrams if not then they're not anagrams so let's go ahead and get started here I'm gonna include my stdo.h library and then we're gonna include my string.h library okay and then create my main function and return a value like zero. All right, so first thing I want to do is probably create our sorting um, function. Sorting function to sort the words. And I don't think it really matters if I sort it in ascending order or descending order. But this function will doesn't need to return anything. And I'm going to call it sort. And it's going to take in a string or a array of characters that I'll call str and it'd be an array alrighty and the sorting algorithm that I'm probably going to use will be bubble sort seeing as how it's basically the first sorting algorithm I ever learned and it's really really easy to implement so I'm going to need the uh, variables i, j, and temp so three integer variables i and j are just going to be the index and I'm going to use temp to swap the characters in the array and then we may also need the length of the array so I'm going to use the strlen function on our string or our array of characters called str so that's just going to return the length of str and now let's sort our array so we're going to use two loops one is going to be from i equals zero and i is going to run for the length of the string and the i is going to increment by one each time and then right under it I'm going to do another for loop where j is going to equal zero and j is going to be less than the length of the array and j is going to increment by one each time as well and under that for loop so this is a for loop within a for loop right now I'm just not using bracket notation to make it look a little bit clear um, but if we had the brackets, of course, this would be the same thing where I have a bracket here and then a bracket here 
you know, then a close bracket and another close bracket, kind of like those brackets there. But um, this just keeps it a little bit cleaner. So now let's see if the character at position I is less than the character at position J, then we need to swap them. So now I'm going to use the brackets. So let's see, now we need to swap the characters. And to do that, we're going to use our temp variable. So temp is going to be the string at position I. And then our string at position I, or character at position I, the element at position I, is going to now change to the element at position J. And the element at position J is going to be equal to our temp variable, which held the original character at position I up here. So that's what we're doing there, swapping the variables. I think that should be good. Uh, let's see, so now we need to actually create our two strings. So I call it string one or str1, and it's going to be, of course, an array of characters, and it's going to set it equal to um, dog, just like our example. And I'm going to create another variable, string two, and I'm going to set it equal to our word God. Alrighty. Now, let's go ahead and create an if statement just to see that these are two different words. And the if statement is going to compare these two different words together. And also to do that, I can use the strcmp function. So if strcmp, that's our function, it takes in two strings, so str1, str2, and returns it returns the value 0 if the strings are equal. So if this function here is equal to 0, then, then the strings are the same. Okay, so, so printf um, strings are the same. And there may be a new line. And then else, we will print the strings are not the same. So strings are not the same. All right, and I've already called my program anagram.c, so let's go ahead and give this a, a run here. So strings are not the same. Perfect. Dog and God are not the same string. It makes sense. Now, I want to know if they're anagrams. And again, if they're anagrams, I need to sort the strings first and then compare them. And then the strings will be the same. So here we go. Let's sort the words. And let's see. We're going to do sort str1. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. And sort str2. And now let's run it. And so now it says the strings are the same. Of course they are because now they both look something like DGO and DGO. So instead of me saying strings are the same, I'm now going to say that um, the strings are anagrams. And I'm going to take that line there, copy it, and paste it here. And then say the strings are not anagrams. And let's run that. And we still get, of course, the strings are anagrams. All right, let's add another letter in here, like an X at the beginning there and an X here. That's not a real word, but um, this still would be an anagram if they were. So the strings are anagrams. Perfect. So now let's switch out that D in dog for Y. And let's run it. And now we get the strings are not anagrams. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. So that's pretty much it. That's um, a solution to that question. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know I really like questions like this. It gets me thinking a little bit. Um, I'll be sure to have the link for the book, Cracking the Coding Interview, in the description below, as well as the code here. Um, the link to my GitHub repository so you can download this code as well. And don't forget to leave likes, any comments, questions. Uh, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And thanks as always for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.